Kiss Me is apparently messaging somebody I, Steam. I, I have a lot of people messaging me, but with that being said, we're going to be going live here, guys. Hopefully your body's ready. I know that mine is. We're going to have TSSS versus Serious Business. First attack coming here. Smoker Gang instant cleared there. Hunter Gang shut down before you even touch the ground. Boomer Gang getting a nice double boom out of two survivors. And that will be a good attack there coming out from a Serious Business for the first hit. All that much damage, but definitely going to slow their pace here. As that double boom did manage to find its land on two of them. So, uh, do you want to do a uh, roster rundown? Sure, I will go ahead and do serious business and you can take away TSS to start things off. Alright, well, since you said yourself first, then you should probably go first. Well, I said and there's a tank up. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll go ahead and do serious business. We're going to have Dildo, a Fig, a Tool, and an F for serious business. And, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Killer Beast, Azula, Evil, and Relapse for Team SSS. Although PF could be anybody at this point. Yeah, I'm not really too sure who PF is. I wish he would actually change his name to the correct name, or what his actually actual alias is. But with that being said, I think it's Azula. I, th I think it is too. I've, I've, it sounds familiar. And Azula does ring a bell with PF. And yeah, we're gonna see Fig up in the hands. Well, the tank up in the hands of Fig, I should say. Four team serious business start things off here, and he's gonna go ahead and toss some rocks out. That's why we see here looking to land something with some good SI support. But they haven't got. I feel just like uh, I feel like we should probably take this over to a war room. Actually, we don't maybe have. In a we don't have war rooms? No, no, no. Team SSS opted out of it, and so did Serious Business. I think they didn't want me to take the time to set them up. They literally just wanted to get the game played, because this game, once game was supposed to start literally an hour ago. So. Alright, well... Uh, literally? Literally an hour literally? ago. As opposed to... Literally. literally? Literally, man. Like an hour ago. Figuratively, five hours ago. But literally an hour ago. Literally. Don't say figuratively. I don't think you can pronounce that. Figuratively? Uh, figuratively? I'm not that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, look at it. We all got sidetracked. That's all Zen's fault. The tank is up in the hands of Fig, and he's only taking about 200 chip, but he is close to losing his first pass right here. Yeah, no attack coming in here, though. Smoker misses his pull. Hunter Gang dead stop and killed off, and the charger obviously once again missing its charge. Smoker does finally get a pull on her shell, but no rock magic to connect with it. And uh, Fig just tossed on another rock on the Survivors. Once again, not finding anything, though. And he's definitely going to go second pass here. Survivors are hard LOSing him. And this is going to cause him to, you know, pass that. Oh, wait, no, no. Fig playing is smart. Barely has LOS out onto Rochelle and the other Survivor in the backfield there. And actually, he still does go to second pass here. He drops down. And uh, pretty much willingly passes it. And Puma does go in mass to get the proxy out on the coach here. Tank is committing, obviously. Lands, oh no, misses the first punch. Fig appears to be la lagging a little bit. Tank, he's, he's definitely lagging. He's lagging. His ping is spiking. Yeah, he can't be trapped. He's definitely lagging back and forth there. Rock really missing, just kind of going all haywire there. And I doubt Fig's going to be happy about that. He had a, definitely a good couple chances there to get some good damage. Even end caps out on the survivors with the head bulls. And uh, even that double punch that barely missed it to the right, or to his right, I should say, he should have landed that. The ping just was, really uh, cut down his arms. I was first person specking him, and everything was choppy on it. Uh, like, the, even the rock like skipped. Yeah, like <laughs> no, every, I, I know what you mean. Like the rock like rotated in his hand before it released. It was really weird. But uh, that was the first tank coming out from uh, Team Serious Business, and uh, unfortunately, Fig was getting DDoS <laughs> while that tank was up because his ping has suddenly dropped down 30 ms from where it was hovering when he was the tank, so... Well, it also did it right as he died. Yeah, it was weird. It's returning back to normal. That's but really we probably... We're probably gonna see another hit come up, and, uh... <laughs> Boomer gets popped immediately. And, uh... Do they even have... I need a spec cut. Kiss yeah. me, start saying something so I can get a spec cut. All you gotta do is type exclamation point spec cut, man. Reload. Calm down. But yeah, as people in chat are saying, he could have definitely just paused the game. I mean, it would have kind of ruined the momentum and given the Survivors more time to actually uh, think out what they want to do here. But we'll have an attack coming up here. It's going to be a Jackie Smoker with the Spitter. Uh, Fort Spawn just coming up right now. It's going to be a Hunter, so a decent tri-cap uh, possibility here, especially if that Hunter does land. The Spit can go down on top of it. And yeah, we're going to see Team SSS really just playing it slow here. Once again, TSSS does stand for Team Spectacular Soy Sauce. So really a crowd favorite. But then also Team Series Business being a big crowd favorite as well. Uh, throughout quite a few tournaments in the past year. And it looks like they're going to wait for the survivors to actually hit the event here, which they just did, and now move the way back. Attack does make his way in, though. 100 smoker worked their way in. Everything getting shut down really well there, though, by TSS. 
And that's going to be all she wrote for that attack. There's absolutely nothing finding a hit. Yeah, this is going to be an uphill battle. I mean, despite reloading, what happened with reloading. the tank, I know for a fact that Spectacular Soy Sauce, they practice. They, they they spend a lot of time talking about positioning and, and making sure that they're, they're acting as a team. I've sat in on their war rooms while they play. And I know that uh, serious business, they don't practice. They're a lot like Team Stick'em Kids, except that they don't suck. But they don't practice. Which is why they're kind of like Team Stick'em Kids. Yeah, they don't have a guy named Big C, he just hit me. Twice. Shout out to Big C for bringing Hitman back into the PC scene. Used to be just an Xbox thing, but... One Big more C and it'll be just be called a Big C. Yeah, right? Big C not to be outdone by Xbox kids. Reload. I'm reloading. We actually had a huge influx of Xbox people coming from, well, obviously Xbox to PC. But that was like a year and a half ago at this point, wasn't it? We had a huge influx of all kinds of people. We got lots of, you know what, I don't even want to talk about that either. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna offend everybody. I can think of a few different ways that was going. Yeah, just you. Just think about the worst possible way that could have gone, and that's where I was going. Probably directed towards me. No, no, I wasn't even, I was gonna say something about a certain somebody who runs a certain thing, and, and certain people play there. Oh, okay. You know. okay. And I just decided not to, because, you know, because, because out of respect for you, Kiss Me, because I could rant for hours. I, I want to be nice guy. Because I want to be, I want to be contrived nice. Oh, with that being thrown out there, another attack is starting to get up here. We're going to have to see the smoker spot from the back at grabbing the pole, but the hunter also laying out the same survivor here. Spit goes on top of that. Jockey getting dead stop to killed off, and smoke gets a repo onto her shell there very briefly before getting killed off by the hand of the coach. And yeah, I feel see's... like that hunter spitter combo was the first piece of cohesive. The first piece of like cohesive team play we've seen from Serious Business since this started. I feel like they probably haven't played together all week, and so now they're just starting to like warm up as a team right now. Pretty much. Fig actually messaged me earlier, like four hours ago, and he said, "Try to get the, the stream, you know, the viewers behind us, because we haven't actually played like all week together." I don't know if it's like their schedules that you know stop them from practicing and whatnot. But they just haven't had time or Everyone, been able to bed. find the time for that matter to actually play together. I, well, I, I, I mean, I would have replied, you know, stop banning people for dumb shit on Left 4 Dead Nation. That's a start. Yeah, right? Hey, Why don't you stop Let's spending go. every every waking hour banning people on Left 4 Dead Nation and start practicing this game? Another attack working its way in. Then we're going to have that spitter gang shut down immediately after throwing that spit out there. Fig once again lagging. Huh. This jockey just kind of teleporting all over the place. Hopefully he can get that under the control. Or else that's going to be a big hindrance, especially over on the survivor side for them. That's going to really stop them from being able to actually, uh, you know, play effectively. Interestingly enough, it's like every time he gets an SI or a tank, he just starts lagging. And as, soon as, the tank, as soon as it dies, it stops lagging. Hmm. Sabotage. More sabotage than usual. And Fig just timed out. And there goes Fig, lagging out. So yeah, we're going to be stuck here with the motor running in the background of the ferry as we wait for Fig to uh, reconnect. Um, he's still online. It, he's just not in game. He might go off Steam in a bit. Nope, he, he's reconnecting. He is coming back. I just saw it pop up. So yeah. He does have some notoriously shitty internet. Like, sometimes he can't eat, his shit can't even handle mumble. Did you change his message to when in doubt press W? Isn't that new? Why is that a Why is that a question? Of course, somebody changed it. Well, yeah, I'm assuming it's Zen because I think he's the only one that changes those things. What? Zen Zen is maniacal like that. Did you change uh, Fig's connect message to when in doubt press W? Yeah. How long ago did you do that? That must have been like this week. Uh -huh. No, that, it's it's been for a while. Huh. So that's how often Fig plays. Yeah. Let's roll. And yeah, we're gonna see survivors pushing their way up through the ferry. Actually, no, they're actually gonna sit here. They have no intentions of actually moving out of this ferry. They are going to sit here until we see a TS or a Team Series business get that fort spawn, and they officially just got it. So they're gonna go ahead and make their way out of the ferry now. We're gonna see the attack of a Charger Hunter Boomer with a smoker working its way in here very shortly. Um, as soon as they feel that the survivors have gone far enough away from the comfort zone to actually unleash the attack upon them. Yeah, this is 
I mean, we're I, I'm just dying to see an actual good hit, but Fig is lagging again. It's it just doesn't seem like there's gonna be any relief for this team serious business. They're just constantly gonna be battling Fig's lag. Hunter going in immediately getting skewered there by Team SSS. And the smoke getting hunted down as well. Charger not being able to have find that spawn, so it looks like he's gonna hold it. I mean, the only real godsend they have left is, is they still have the wish to work with. Which it won't really matter all that much depending on where it is, because it's at 98%, which I believe is literally right in front of the safe. Room. So it can actually be, um, you know, a factor here, but I, I don't know how big of a factor, because uh, Team Spectacular Soy Sauce. I just want to say this: the bonus right now is 1,024. That's huge. Reloading. That's not what she said. That's most definitely not what she said. Yeah. But boom responding for Logan's immediately popped by the survivors, and so that's going to shut down the remainder of this attack. They just throw in charges spawning from above, rocketing in, and Jackie following suit, not finding any of that. Charger is pretty much dead as well. He only has 169 HP left, which is pretty much a one full shotgun blast is going to kill the charger. And, uh, you know, survivors running, I believe, three shotguns. Yeah, three shotguns, so really only one has to, only one has to land. Charger goes in, and they still, he still managed to actually connect onto Coach, pinning him against the tree. And now it looks like they will make their way to the Witch. I mean, they're going to the left here, so I'm assuming they want the Witch. She should spawn somewhere around to the left. Maybe not. Literally right in front of the safe room, I believe. So this is probably going to be the biggest bonus that we'll see in this, in this like, round of the tournament. Just due to a series of unfortunate events. No tank. This is what Promod would be without tanks and witches, guys. Just thousand bonus every day. <laughs> I mean I don't think everyone I don't think anyone's ever made the argument that there shouldn't be tanks in Promod. I think that I don't think it's ever anything it I well see that's ever not said. that's not really what I was saying. It wasn't saying that anybody had made that argument. I was just saying that this is what it would be like if there weren't tanks. Because this is literally the most boring survivor round ever. Pretty much. Charger going in from behind, not going to get those two points for stumble damage. And Survivors will make it in the safe room with a distance of 500 points, the bonus of 20 points from the Witch, and a health bonus of 960, giving them a grand total of 1,580 points for the first round. And serious business, I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. They're on the back foot. I mean, right off the bat, map one, they got makeup to do going into map two. Yeah, 960 is a tremendous bonus for a single map. And that's got to be a little demoralizing. I feel like a lot of their SI were probably hindered by the fact that Fig was lagging. Like, they couldn't get in sync because every time he would try to get in with them and, and, and try to attack, he would just start like. So hopefully his ping will normalize. Hopefully they can, you know, button down and, and actually stop sucking, which is what they're doing right now. And, uh... You know, that's, I mean, I feel, I just feel like there was so much anticipation. I'm already, like, I got a feeling in my gut, like, this is just not good. No bueno. I mean, coming into this game, honestly, I would have predicted Serious Business to take the W. Albeit barely, I would still have given them the W. So, I think if they can get the pings under control, um, do you guys mind if we get a sub for Fig? Ooh, Serious Business is looking for a sub now. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the smart move. Yeah. It's it's going to... If, if it crippled them on their infected, it's definitely going to be bad on their survivor. <laughs> Dildo being blunt, as Dildo is, calling, calling Fig out, sack the tank because he was lagging. It's a true story. Probably not the most delicate way to put it, but I can I can approve of that. Remember, there's a Left 4 Dead 1 player who was named If I Die, It's Lag. <laughs> I I think I remember him. I think I remember seeing him in Left 4 Dead 2 for a while. Or at some I time. bet Right Click would remember him. Too bad Right Click's not watching this stream. Like he should be. Right Click. Shout out to Right Click. Turn on the stream now. Whatever you're doing is not more important than Left 4 Dead. But if he's not watching the stream, then he didn't just hear that. It's true, but he... There's a bunch Golly, of people who's... watching the stream, so somebody, somebody will message uh -huh. him and be like, hey, you just got called out. Get your ass to the stream. Yeah, so everybody message right-click. If you have right-click on your list, tell him he should be watching the stream. And if he doesn't watch the stream, then then you know what? He's not invited to the Christmas party. Not the Christmas party. 
Well, I mean, we'll just we'll have a Christmas party just so we can not invite him. Is what I'm basically trying to say. We'll invent a Christmas party. So yeah, but first that means we have to start celebrating Christmas. That's true. So it does look like they're you're kind of questioning if Fig can actually play right now. Um, I think they're waiting to see if his pink spikes again. It's weird that whenever... No, they are looking for a sub. Okay, so... Team Series okay. Business is going to be looking for a sub for Fig Newtons. Which will be actually kind of a big hit for, on, on them. Because I think he was their main caller and in-game leader. I'm fairly certain that they don't that they don't play together anyway. So I feel like they're basically a pug team at this point. And mm. so it doesn't matter who you get for their fourth. Like, if they're going to button down and do it, they're going to do it regardless of whether Fig's here or not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they're they're not they've never been so team centric. They they're not the kind of team that practices all the time and plays together all the time. I don't I don't think that it's gonna be a detriment. I feel like the only detriment is gonna be is gonna be their individual their their ability to, to shut these things down and not take a lot of damage. Yeah. It, it relies heavily on team. individual. Yeah, they're basically a pug team. They're like right now we're breaking we're breaking it down, it's not gonna be a team thing, it's not gonna be a chemistry thing, it's gonna be can they do it individually? Are they really getting Express to play, or did Express just join off of me because he's stupid? Uh, well, I mean, Express no, is they definitely... Got it. Express, Express is in their mumble. He's really? definitely stupid, but he's definitely playing too. Huh. I don't know how this is going to go, because I haven't seen Express play in years. But regardless, they're going to be pushing right out safe from it. So we're getting clear immediately. Hunter's still passing around. Not killed off just yet. Gets this up there by the hands of NF and shot down as well. So that will be the end of the attack. The only thing remaining of that attack is the boom out of Alice. And with the survivors quickly clearing common off of Alice, he's going to be able to continue moving ahead here. I just want to say that this is like Team Scavenge right here. Except for NF. Dildo, Tool, Express, all all came from the Scavenge community. Really? Express was on that team? I'm pretty sure he was. Well, no, not, not, from... not that team, but the Scavenge community. Actually. Yeah, he was, from the, he was from the Scavenge community for sure. Oh. I didn't know that's where Express started. That's interesting. But regardless, the tank will be up in the hands of Killer Beast here. Once again, guys, no war rooms for tonight. That car getting hit way far away, but still in play, actually. Yeah, it fell into the actual play area um, just behind the tractor trailer. But that's still definitely a uh, hittable there that can be used. As far as might push forward, though, they know the car is behind. They're going to do just that. They push forward. Boomer stumbles the tank backwards, going to delay that rock throw. But tank does wind up and rethrow the rock, just barely missing Ellis there. Ellis not even knowing how close he was getting hit there. It looks like Dill is trying to get this kill on the smoker. Um, I'm a little confused there. Rochelle just ate a plain out rock. I mean, there wasn't even an attack coming in with that. She just shot the rock, missed it, and ate it as a result. It's not like Tool to miss rock skeets, but usually Tool is, I feel like he's more of a shotgun player, so it's its not as easy as skeet with an Uzi. Yeah, with an Uzi, you have the spray to work with and the control. Well, there's not even really any control, it's just literally a spray that goes anywhere. But yeah, Killer Beast, what's again in the hands of the tank for, here for Team SSS. And he's going to be down to 30 or 5,300 HP left on the second pass. So he's going to come in here very soon. Looks to go for the car here. Going to try and make some hittable magic happen here. Tank or the car is hit way back out of play, though. And I doubt that these cars will make their way over for that. He does manage to uh, get one hand on Rochelle here. Himself. Yeah, this is mostly going to be an easy in-cap out onto Rochelle now. Rochelle does pop the pills, though. Boom also goes out onto her. That's going to be the in-cap out onto Rochelle. Actually, no, not just yet. The pills have taken up, and she will be okay. She can still move around. Tank goes after Coach and gets two hits on him before he hits us. I'm going to pick up a rock here. Not going to find time to actually throw that, though. And that will be a tank up and down for Team SSS. And actually not too badly taken there by Serious Business, but definitely not they were, what they were looking for. They they took yeah. a lot more damage, obviously, than what TSS did on the last half. Tool, Tool fucking derped and ran, like, separated himself from his team and started running towards the pumps like he was trying to, like he was trying to corner himself almost. I thought it was going to go really bad because there's actually a spot over by the propane tank near that where you can get caught and you can't actually get out as a survivor. Reloading! Yeah, I think we saw that in that one match, actually. Um, I, I forget who it was. I think it was... I think it was in the Polarity game. I think I believe someone on Polarity actually got put in that propane tank, like that little gap area. They had expected mm -hmm. to get the... They had expected to get the bot out of there, though. Or the player, I should say. 
Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it looked like that's what he was trying to do. And and in between, there was like a boom that came out, but nothing really happened. I mean, right now, the lion's share of the health bonus is Dildo and Express. Tool got nothing. NF is slow, and he's just waiting to pop pills. Wait. And they still have the event. I mean, if you do look at the health bonus right now, though, as long as they can bait Tool and NF effectively here on the survivor side, they could still end this map with a very nice health bonus. I mean, they're sending out around to 700 right now. Attack is coming in, though. Hunter getting immediately skied out of there, though. Charger does land a double charge, but gets cleared immediately. Express still goes flying, though, nonetheless, through the air before landing on the ground. And so a good charge, but an even better clear going out there by Team Serious Business. And yet again, I mean, they're sitting at 616 health bonus going into this event here. All they gotta really do is just make the safe room. With at least a 500 health bonus, they'll be like 400 down going to the next few maps here, obviously. But it's still better than, you know, wiping here and going down by easily 900 yeah. if they wipe outright. You know, it's not just, even regarding it's unfortunate. this. Thing. It's unfortunate that they took that much damage during the tank. Because they, it's because of that that they can't run back to the gas station to fight this horde. They have to take it in that small room, which could really spell disaster for what bonus they have left. And their shell actually gets smoked up against a window that takes massive common damage. And they're making, way, they got, they're making their way out to the ferry here, and the ferry's not even there yet. And there's going to be another side attack up, up very shortly here. But I believe they should be able to get him before the attack actually gets his footing. Uh, I lied, though. Close. No, no, they're going to be able to just hit him. Boomer spawns up, gets popped uh. immediately, though. Charger has spawn, also spawned behind the, the uh, little shed there. Spitter spawns up top with the Hunter. Hunter coming in from the side, not going to find anything, but finally he does latch on to Ellis. Charger is shut down, though, and we also see Rochelle taking an in cap, but that is one of the main health bonuses on Ellis, and he's going to take an in cap from that spit pounce. So good hit there by Team Spectre with Soy Sauce, and that's going to do a really world of hurt to a series business's health bonus. They need to get these pickups fast. Get on the ferry and start going with the bleed. Yeah, they got moved. Another faster. boomer's about to spawn behind them. Indeed, boomer lands that nice double boom out onto Nick and Alice there, and now NF's gonna try and work his magic and actually proxies himself Our and two, two survivors. Charger thankfully missing though, but Hunter is gonna go ahead and land the pass out onto Nick there. He is the only other help bonus of the survivors, and it, he's all alone, it's separating the corner and the commander doing work onto him as well. Tool's, Tool's gonna Tool's dead, and Dildo takes an end cap, and that's gonna be the help bonus pretty much obliterated. There is nothing left here for serious business for this map. And now they have to look forward to the next th next three maps for pretty much catch up. This is this is a really unfortunate turn of events because I feel like the the health bonus that SSS got was just totally because of Fig's leg. Pretty much that tank. It you you saw when he committed, he could have done some serious work. He could have gotten some some serious chip on that bonus, and it just didn't work out that way because he was lagging so badly. And so now the deficit that they're facing. This 1,300 point deficit is almost entirely due to that one little thing that happened. Yeah, that's it, that's really unfortunate. This and should this not is, be happening right yeah, now. Yeah, it shouldn't be this. It, the, the gap shouldn't be this wide. Like, literally. And that's, that's the really unfortunate thing, is after that tank, after he started lagging during that tank, they should have just called for a restart. Because everything that we're seeing afterwards is basically a result of that tank and the demoralization that occurred as a result of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Team Spectre so saw us. They're a pretty good bunch of guys. I don't think they would have opposed the restart. I mean, it's no, obvious that Fig so. was la lagging. He missed an easy double punch. He missed an easy, even easier car out onto Nick, who put himself in a really bad position on his own account. There was no SI that even put him in that position. I mean, it, it, it was really just Fig lagging, and there's nothing that he could really do about it. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure that TSS would have been uh, happy to oblige with the restart. But, yeah, we're going to see... Uh... Well, it just, it just sucks that we're not going to get the game that we should get. Because yeah. oh, because of that, because they didn't ask for the restart, now we got to get the game where, you know, where, where serious business just basically gets bent over and bent over, raked over the coals the entire game is what's going to happen. Unless they can really pull out a nice bonus, get a wipe on the tank, and do some work, this is not looking good. It's not a very long campaign. 
Yeah, but with that being said, it is worth quite a bit. I mean, if they can get... They're going to need at least two tank wipes here, and they're going to have to make the save from both of them. That's where they do get the wipes. Um, I, I mean, they need distance, and they need health bonus as well. It's not just health bonus that they need. They need a lot of magic to happen here. But with that being said, we're going to see Team Specular Story Sauce on the Survivor have to start things off here with, of course, Team Serious Business over on the SI. Um, TSS is pretty much negating that entire first attack, really making the SI second-guess their attack here. And we're going to see that fourth spawn coming up after the Boomer sacked right out of the safe room. And it's going to be a Jackie Spitter Smoker with the Hunter. So as long as either the Hunter or Jockey land and that spit goes down preemptively on one of them, it could be some good damage. But Serious Business needs to make damage happen. They need to wipe these guys where they stand. Unfortunately, not, nothing really happening just yet. Spitter just kind of delay spinning for some reason. Um, probably get, might get picked here. And actually, no, Tank will be up really early. Tank, and this could be a godsend here for Team Series business. And it's going to be up in the hands of Tool. This is about is the best area you could expect to have to get. Like, if they wanted, if they were going to pick, this is the best tank. This is the one that's going to give them the best opportunity to get an early wipe. They, they need this, because then they get they can get full map distance, which alone, this map, I think, is worth 600 points distance-wise. So that's 600 points back right away. That puts them 700 down still, but then health bonus, you, they can make an easy 3-400 back there. So, I mean, mm -hmm. they th this wipe, this tank's pr really pivotal for Team Series business right now. Tool's got to work here. He's going in with the attack, though. Looking at the Atlanta Rock, just barely missing, clipping the top, top of the bush there. And Smoker gets shut down there by the hands of TSS. So they're going to push this tank a bit here. T Tank's rock gets skied out of there. And they're going to get aggressive. They're going to push him back into the wide open area here. But they can't really push him much more as there is a funnel hand. Rock also lands out onto Kosha. So good rock tool winding up again. Going to throw that rock out there. Lands out onto Nick this time. So two rocks thus far landing for a team's uh, serious business. And, I mean, he also took 1,200 damage, though, so that's not the fondest of times. Well, I mean, he made them pay for it. I mean, that's two rocks for 1,200, not too bad. If Ooh. all three rock. Tool. I mean, Tool is a master of all trades. I mean, he, we've seen some really amazing tanks come out from him in the past on serious business. And uh, so far, this tank has definitely been shaping up very well for him. Throwing another rock in there. Get skied out of there, though. And he's going to reposition just, just a little bit. He needs to not play out of position. If he gets out of position and they push him without his support, he's going to get screwed. And they're actually playing this really smart. They're, they're pretty much throwing two SI at a time. They're doing like a 2-1 thing where they always have one SI up at least. So that the survivors won't re really get all that much aggressive on them. Oh. Good separation, Paul. Rocco's out. Hits Alice like in the face. Azula getting smoke separated. Beautiful rocking here by Tool thus far, and this this is really what they need. See, I was thinking early on in the tank, I, if I was Tool, I would have committed with the second hit when they started pushing up on it. I feel like he could have committed right there and got a couple of really good punches. And he probably could have gotten the corner. But he's doing work with the rocks, so it could work out. But he's so eager to keep his first pass that he's just sacrificing his health. Yeah, he, he should not be sacrificed that much AP. He's down to 27 and lands another rock out on a coach, so that is going to put Evolve down to bleed if he wants to actually stay fast with the rest of his teammates. Another rock going against shot out of the air there, though. But this tank taking a lot of chip, as you said. It, that was not worth him staying in just for his first pass sake. No, no, not really. I mean, I would have rather... If he had 4,400. I would have rather kept the 4,400 and had something I could commit with, because right now it's a, it's a rock tank. That's all they can do. And with the tank now finally switching positions, he's moving a little further up towards the survivors. They could get aggressive and get a lot of chip on him. I mean, he's staying in the wide open. At least crouch or something. Smoker's not going to be allowed to pull, though. Tank th throwing another rock in here. He doesn't find a target. Nicely skied out of the other by Nick. Tank's going to look for another rock, though. He knows that he needs his rock, so he's going to go to the second pass. Not going to find it, though. Going to be forced to back out and just accept that he's going to second pass pretty much now. Unless her shell just keeps giving him sight. No, unfortunately, he can't there find a rock, and he yeah, he does go second pass. They've done they've done some work, but it's not the work that they need to do. Like evil has caught quite a few rocks, but he's also the wild card for Team Spectacular Soy Sauce because the rest of them have been practicing together. Evil has been unavailable. So Evil has actually missed out on a lot of the practice for this map, of this campaign. 
Another rock going in. Find his mark on L's, though. I mean, if Tool can still manage to land these, like, cheeky little rocks, it can still be good and it can still be something. But TSS. Yeah, two in caps is minimum what they need. Yeah, I mean, he has a long way to go to get that. I mean, Evolve obviously has already popped his bills. He has no perm left to be spoken of. Tool's taking a lot chipper, though, from the shotguns of uh, TSS. Has. Like a couple more rocks on relapse, and he has no more uh, solid, and that'll be good. So, two is not to me. A nice boom would be fucking amazing. Tool missing that rock on the smoke to target, though. But the boom does manage to find a target out of the nick as well, though. Rock going in, gets key out there yet again, though. And Tool's down to 35%, 30% now on second pass, and he's... Uh, this tank's pretty much dead, though. I mean, I feel like he got too greedy for the chip, or too greedy for the rocks. Yep. Another rock going in, not gonna find Sarki, also gets skied out of the air. This tank's all but dead. He's gonna wind up another rock, but gets killed right away, immediately upon right-clicking. And that's gonna be a tank up and down here. Yeah, that was... It was a terrible mistake to sacrifice that. It was like 1500 or 2k. Yeah, it was like 2k. I think he went overboard with that commit. But another attack coming up here for the SI Smoker, not being able to find a, a pull as the stars were all behind her. A nice level there by Killer Beast on, onto the Charger. And uh, yeah, even Dildo saying nice because he knew that was a really nice 1a level there by KB. And we're going to see Team Speculator Sorry Sauce just moving away up through the map here. Hopefully, Serious Business can buckle down and land some really good SI hits because that's they, they still need the wipes. They gotta kill off the HB, they gotta kill the survivors in general. And they have to really play hard on Survivor. They're in a better position than they were definitely they're definitely in a better position than they were on map one. Where they actually have some bleed to work with. But and also the pill situation is not great. Evil that tank was so long that Evil actually he actually ate all of the pills. Now this is interesting because it seems like Team Speculator like Sauce wants to back up here, but they might also just be baiting the first hit and then they're going to push the airplane because that's what a lot of te teams do nowadays. And if they do th throw the attack right here as they are right now, nice double cap landing onto two servers. Jockey also looking to make it a, a three or a three cap. Latches on to Coach Jackson through the spit. Now they might push here. That's another set of pills committed. Yeah, and, and in fact they, they are going to uh, push here. Yeah, well they got they got a survivor bleeding. And relapse is really close to being slow, really close to needing pills, so they, they really couldn't take it back. Otherwise, they'd just be limping around. Yeah, serious business, what they should have done there was they should have held the attack and literally forced Team Spectre Source to go all the way back. Because if they don't go all the way back, then the, F the common confirm spawn from all around them. And it makes it kind of uh, hard to hold where they were up front there. So you want to kind of just hold the SI, let the common just kind of surround them, and if you get a good attack, then throw it in. But uh, yeah, regardless of that. NF went in for a boom and just, he, it was just too far away. Tool just missed by a mile on Nick. Hunter got skied. It was just, the, I, it's really disjointed, like, SI play. Like, I'm not sure the SI knew exactly where they wanted to hit. Because I feel like the boomer set the, the boomer set the idea of going near this house. But there's just not, it was just a big open air. It's just a terrible place to have to, to oh shit. And the pause comes out. Killer Beast says eyelash. I, I literally Evol had an eyelash in his eye. And so they had to pause the game. Well shit. Shout out to Jacob for being the graduate of L2L. <laughs> Talk I just read that. <laughs> now everyone's bugging Jacob to fix the ferry on map one. Oh god. This is why I don't post on Left of the Nation. Did you see the thread up that I posted then about the black and white survivors yeah, on the DK? That's poster? what I was talking about. And That's like, what I was talking about earlier. Bunch of fucking retards, man. And it turned into like a what, whole what is wrong shit with fest of like, what to change with the crescendo and stuff. And I'm like, I, I just wanted it to be fixed because I think that's a glitch. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't that wasn't Valve's intention. I, it was probably something that they overlooked. Because you're supposed to get in capped, and you, you, even if black and white, you should still get in capped, which would mean you're dead. I, I have a feeling they didn't mean for you not to die if you get charged there. You know, you're black and white. I think Bravo just dared me. What do you dare you do? Uh, shout out, shout out from Bravo to Visor. Go suck a dick. That's aggressive. But Boomer spawning up right in Coach's face, but Coach ain't scared of that. And he's gonna go ahead and just pop that and yeah, Jackie going lands on a neck, drags the photo a little bit, some good damage going on to KB right now. 
And yeah, that's going to drop him down into yellow, but he has a set of pills and another one that's on Evolve to blow here. So uh, they definitely have the pills to go through, but I don't think they're going to really need them. The Witch is coming up relatively soon, though. Here we go. Back to world. Coach running up towards the Witch. Witch already stamp and Coach easily dispatching of the Witch. That 1,200 damage approximately going out from the shotgun of Coach onto her back. Oh, man. This is a 592 right now. Oh, the village yeah, is this way. I mean, Serious business, they need wipes with the tanks. There's no doubt about it. Or they have to have some miracle on, like, the finale. Well, attack coming in here, nothing finding. Absolutely nothing. And, uh... Just another, another really... I mean, it's not as big as map one, but at least this one, you can feel that Spectacular Soy Sauce earned this bonus. Yeah, Serious Business definitely had some life in them in the beginning of this map here with the tank and whatnot. Evolve pretty much eating all the pills during that ta the uh, tank. But unfortunately, nothing else really coming from it for the rest of the map here. And they're going to be able to walk in the safe room. And like, once again, if that tank, if they had that tank map one, it would be a totally different game. Like, it would be so much closer. Even if they made safe room, they would have made it with like a 300 health bonus. It wouldn't be that big of a deal going into this map. But, I mean, obviously that's yeah, not this the case. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing the score of 2,768 to 318. I mean, albeit... You know, obviously, Team Series Business hasn't gone just yet on their second half, but it's looking really bad for them. They need a huge help. They on can't get wiped. They, they can't get wiped. They have to make it. They have to make it with a bonus. Otherwise, they're out. That's it. It's over. Stick a fork in them. They're done. But PF from Team Spectre Series is going right out, grabbing the Blue Monster, Nick, and going to shove them back in the safe from here. And once again, we will see Team Series Business over on your survivor half. And a Team Spectacular Soy Sauce over on your SI, or a Special Infected, if you will. And yeah, Boomer's going to have that boom up at, by the time they walk their way out of safety now. He's still hiding behind that rock off to the left side of the screen here. And Smoker spawned up uh, pretty much right in front of the screen on the left side a little bit. We'll see if they can uh, manage to land a good hit here or not. I mean, it's a 2-2. They really shouldn't. They shouldn't get anything. So... Boomer getting melee around a little bit here. Bo Rochelle's still proxying on herself, but Nick also ate the boom, or the reboom, I should say, from the boomer when they walked out of the safe from previously. And Nick getting a little common locked here. This tank should be also be able to relatively soon. Uh, Alice is going to go ahead and push ahead and try to spawn it. And they also have that spitter up. I don't know why the spitter is saving. Maybe try to stop him from running backwards? This is, this is the thing, is like, I feel like Serious Business is gonna try to be really aggressive in an attempt to, in an attempt to get this tank, like, down really quickly. And I, I, I just feel like it's gonna backfire. If they don't know when to pull out and say, okay, let's time to LOS, then this is gonna go really badly. Cause you can get too aggressive too quick. I mean, they showed it with their tank, you can get too aggressive too quick, and you can do it with survivors as well. So hopefully they just LOS, because I feel like they're, they're the kind of team that'll get aggressive. Indeed. So we're going to see uh, some rocks being thrown in here by the hands of ZZQT. Um, I believe that is a relapse for Team Spectacular Story Sauce. No rocks landing as of just yet. So Yeah, oh. Tool, Tool has a shotgun, so that no rocks should land. Tool is a professional rock skeeter. Yeah, Tool... He tool. was a uh, Duck Hunt champion in 1991. I love that game, by the way. You know, I used to get, I used to be cheap with Duck Hunt, I'll be honest. I used to, like, sit right in front of the screen. I was one of those people, I literally like, aim right at the duck and shoot it, like, on the screen. <laughs> like, I would say, like, an inch from the screen with the gun literally up against the, like, the, the bowed out TV, because we had one back then. You know, CRT one, TV. Yeah, one of those huge ass TVs, yeah. That was old school. First FPS ever, Duck Hunt. GG. Literally yeah, had a gun. We, uh, just a quick announcement, we're gonna have a Duck Hunt tournament after RBT is over. <laughs> that would be amazing. As long as I can friend- uh, as long as I can Shout out to Ramirez, 1v1 Duck Hunt me, bro. Oh, uh, with that challenge being thrown out there, we see it relapse, throwing some more rocks at the survivors, obviously. He might commit here, because he's on second pass, 50% rage, and he has a jockey smoker with a boomer for support. I doubt they're going to go for a hit. This is probably a commit. Indeed it is. Relapse is going to make his way in through the bush here, off to the left side, pushing the survivors over towards water, and actually messed up, pushing them back onto the dry land. So they're going to have some really easy time cutting around here, but Coach still managed to get cornered here. Gets hit away, though. So now Ellis is going to be his target. Throws a rock, jump rock, I should say, and lands on Ellis. Um, everything Tool has been was so that smoker. Indeed he was. 
but the oh, smoker does finally get shut it's down. It's and over. Yeah, the tank's pretty much gonna die off right here. He's down at 800 HP. Another rock lands on the coach here. So decent damage coming out from Relapse so far. Another rock lands on to actually Tool this time. And tank and lands. We're looking, we got gun. We're looking at, I mean, it looks like almost Ooh. the same, except uh, coach, had, coach has a little bit of perm left. And they have three sets of pills left. Yeah, because they didn't actually play the tank out as long as obviously uh, we saw his business do. That was obviously just commit. So coach went just went through more pills in general because he was also bleeding as the tank progressed. But yeah, I mean, as you can see from the damage of Team Spectacular Soy Sauce, all the damage from that commit came from the tank. He landed, I believe, that's five, five punches slash rocks, and yeah, I mean, he did work. Oh, wait, six. Six. I lied. Yeah, six. He, he landed. He landed a couple punches on Express, and he landed no, 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 a rock no, no. on NF and a rock no, 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 on Tool. I think. And that's just when he committed. I'm not sure if he landed a rock before then or not. But the the how quickly he committed, the, the rocks weren't you working ready? for him, and they were LOSing him pretty aggressively. So, I guess serious business proved me wrong. Having a little bit of self control and not being too too aggressive, gonna try and show us a good game. My man. And you see his business, they can slowly but surely crawl the way, or claw their way back into the game, I should say. And uh, I don't think them actually pushing back here is going to be all that effective. But Smoker spawning up in the front, trying to bait the survivors to actually run into it, but that's not going to happen. They're going to play it smart, back off here. And it, see, now this is what Serious Business should have done. They should have held their SI and made them back, or made Team Speculate Sources back up into this area, because then it pretty much commits them to holding out this event entirely back here. Now they can throw the end the attacks. And even if they were pushed the airplane, they'd still have an attack before the airplane, pretty much. But Charger coming in from behind, gonna completely miss everything, gets mowed down by the shotgun of NF. Spit goes down behind NF, and he's gonna walk right out of it. And so they're pretty well taken. They're in a slightly better position. They have more perm, is is more or less. They have more perm and they have more pills, and that kind of gives them more options on where they can go. Whereas, as Team Spectacular Soy Sauce, Coach, they had one set of pills on Coach, and he was at, he was completely bleeding. So you wait out that event, it takes, what, two, three minutes to wait out that event? He would have lost all of his perm, had to commit the pills, and they would have spent the rest of the map with no pills. And it just, there was no flexibility with that. So in a lot of ways, Spectacular Soy Sauce, they played a really, a really good tank in making them commit all of their pills and limiting their options as survivors. If you guys want to get down into the game, you know. <laughs> And with that being said, we're going to see, obviously, Team Spectacular Story Sauce actually already beating the health bonus of Serious Business. I believe it's like 40 points above. Um, actually, it's 64 points at this current time. Um, so right now, Serious Business is already losing this round, unless they can find a bunch of set of pills or a bunch of sets of pills. And, uh, yeah, obviously keep them on their bodies for the time being. Smoker going against immediately cleared off. Charger does land, but gets shot down there by the hands of Nick. And there so is a set of pills... There is a set of pills in this house, and they are gonna find it. Oh, interesting, cool story. Uh, I was watching. I was watching them play uh, a scrim, and uh, this broken-down house over by the docks near the beginning of the map. There was two sets of pills on the dock, and two sets of pills in the broken-down house. So there was four sets of pills, like right at that first, right at that first dock. Really? Yeah. It was, this was yesterday. It was crazy. I know that a lot of times pills do spawn in the house, but nobody ever checks. But we see double cap coming out here. Actually, triple cap very briefly in landing out of but quickly dispatched up by the, their hands as well. And we're going to see that double proxy going out to Coach and Ellis as well. And they're going to make their way up into the roof here of the building and if make can, their way back uh, down in the water. If they can get this witch without taking an in cap, then they, they have, I mean, they're going to get some of, this, some of these points back. Zen, you still live over there? Oh, Ellis. Barely. Oh, Ellis, right. Ellis almost whiffing that crown on the witch. I mean, there were no S to contend with, and uh, NF almost botching it. He missed the first shot, and as you, as you can see, he almost pushed out 2,000 damage onto the witch. I guess his first shot was probably like a 900 or something. And, uh, yeah, just almost, almost giving it up. Pretty much. He, he 2K'd the witch. NF, NF 2K'ing the witch. Totally on purpose. And we see the attack coming from the safe room. Dillo getting pulled forward. A charger completely whipping as the hunter took a target. And Charger uh, actually kind of winning there. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that was a little bit of a health bonus. So Tool is going to once again take an in-cap, as Colors just said. And it's going to drop their health bonus down to a 360. So they're actually going to lose 200 points here going into the next map. And this is not looking good. I mean, they're pretty much 1,500 points down at this time. Yeah. They are pretty much the entire the entire first map that SSS got for their score. That's how much they're down. Like that first map just fucked them. Like all in all, like they're walking around, their anuses are bleeding, it's dripping down the sides of their legs. They're fucked. Too graphic? That that, that was more than I think was was needed. I, I think was necessary. I think we listen, got it when you, you know, first said what you said. Yeah, I know, but there's there's nothing better than a little bit of excess. The visual made everybody cringe. It was excess. Yeah. 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 We're gonna need you to take your headset off and uh, go kill yourself, colors. I'm I'm gonna have to put an R-rated stream title on this. <laughs> R-rated TVMA. I know there's like a, like a, you know, mature content warning and such for Twitch, and I believe it's on, actually on my channel, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, It is get, on your I'm channel. I'm gonna have to get, If you try and, a more, more mature, mature, mature content. Yeah, we're gonna need, like, a triple X rating, and that's gonna be my channel. That's only if, if you actually keep your word and, uh, at the end of the game. Okay, no. Anyway, first attack did. coming in here. First attack coming in from Sears Business. Nice pull going on. That was completely separating him. He's also the only boom survivor, so that was good damage from the common out on him as well. And it actually a really decent hit. Smoker gets some crap scratches out onto the survivors as well. Finally getting dispatched by Nick. And Ellis still taking some damage here. That's a lot of damage coming out from Sears Business on the first hit. That's around yeah, 50 like damage. That was a sloppy take on that hit. Like I feel like they're so they're so concerned with getting out into this swamp area that they're just they're just like yeah let's just take 50 damage because reasons. And Boomer going in lands out onto PF there, and that's gonna slow them down just a little bit here. And by that I mean Tipsy Trailer Sword Size Jockey jump bouncing in, not finding it. Hunter manages to latch onto Alistair and Charger also stumbles and that's gonna be another two two points of damage going on to them. And the witch is up ahead just in the fog here. And we're gonna watch the fires run up and actually draw crown. I'm not gonna get back there in time and the witch is dead. So we'll take another five ball. What actually happened is the hunter landed a 12 DP in the charger in a moment of extreme jealousy cleared it. Yeah, I, I do feel the charger kind of charged really late because the hunter was already down and everything. And then the charger looked right at it. I was like, I'm gonna charge you off of it. Charger was like, nah, that's my damage. But regardless, Jackie spawned from the back. Not too sure what he's trying to do here, but he's going to go ahead and despawn his Jackie. Wait for the next attack entirely. And for the next set, we're going to see that Charger, Smoker, Jackie, and probably a Spitter. I want to say Spitter. I don't know, though. I really want to see a Spit Charge. I want to see them land a Spit Charge. I think that the, the best thing that's, that uh, Serious Business can hope for is that SSS lose their focus and get a little too cocky with their score. That's the only, I mean, I don't see it happening, but I feel like that's pretty much if they lose their focus for just long enough for them to capitalize and get rid of some of this bonus, they can really do some work. Charger goes in and lands on down to PF and actually does get cleared very fast there by Team Spectre Life. So we saw so really saving face there. That Spit Charger could have done a lot of damage. And tank oh, Tank is up in the hands of No Fun. No Fun. AKA NF, which is his actual name. And yeah, we're gonna see him moving away. Actually, I now now you make me wonder what NF stands for. <laughs> oh wait, well we could speculate, but I'm not sure you want to go there. No, please don't. <laughs> I can already think of some acronyms that I don't want to throw out there. Yeah, see, that's what I. Hey, look at this. I haven't said I haven't said the other thing you told me not to say either. So I'm right on I'm right on cue with this. I'm literally the just tanks. watching Bravo fight with like everyone in my chat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, doesn't it remind you of that Left 4 Dead Nation thread that got everyone all butthurt? Like, even yeah. Yams is there, and like... Somebody invite, somebody invite him to start it's like, he's like, you're an Bravo. asshole! No, you're an asshole! Well, your ass is wider than a Hulu! No, you! No, you! <laughs> <laughs> wider than a Hulu. Oh, God. So, wait. So, professional stream watcher Yams is, is, that, is there right now? Yams actually watches the stream quite often. He's a blocko. Uh, yeah, we know. Yams watches every stream. Fair enough. 
And yeah, tank still up in the hands of NF here. He's sitting at 5600 HP, and it looks like he's going to try and commit here. He's still in first pass, but he's getting a position that's kind of a committing position. He's moving off to the right side here. He could hop up behind the house. But I'm not entirely sure. I, I would assume he wants to climb up on top of Yeah, he's going to climb on top of the house here. Attack is going in. good health. Yeah, yeah he's, he definitely has the health to actually rock this out a bit more. If not, you know, just wait for the second pass. But he's actually going to go ahead and rotate. Going to go ahead and climb up on top of the house here. And now this does put him in a better position if he can actually jump. There he is. So now he can rock from up top here. Try and land some cheeky rocks down the survivors. But uh, I don't think TSS will have any of that. Another rock going out. Hitting him the top of the roof. Though. He's kind of aiming low here. And he's taking a lot of chip. He's already taking a thousand chip just from rotating up to the roof. He's going to go ahead and commit now. Jump rocking into the water below. Landing it out to Nick here. This could be his end cap. But it's another punch out onto him. And rotates looking for another target here. Tosses the rock out on her shell. Hits it. Going to go look for the punch onto her. Going to find it. Now he's going to rotate back over to Alice. He's really spreading the damage here very evenly. He's down to 1300 HP. Finds another punch on Alice. He could get out if he moves fast enough. Down to 400 HP and just barely oh, yeah. exits it out. Nice, nice work, NF. Like... That was really, really well spread. That Rock going out, not finding a target. But he is down to 300 HP, so he has to play it's very careful. He's still on second pass, though. So he could definitely die here, if not lose it. And he's not at 5% rage. It's definitely going to go AI, and there it is. So I was holding inside of the house here. I doubt the SI will throw the attack in. Because they're, good, they're just going to get mowed down upon entering the doorway. Rumor is spawning and stumbling the tank backwards. And tank is killed off immediately upon walking the doorway. And that will be the tank up and down here. Four series business. Really good damage though. That's, uh, I mean, they needed it. They needed to get rid of, I mean, you don't see a lot of teams making it with a large bonus on this map anyway. Because of the difficulty of the gauntlet and the amount of pull downs and bullshit that you can deal with. But they really needed to make sure that they didn't make it with a giant, giant bonus. Needed to get in there, get all that damage, and now they can just whittle down the rest of this health and hopefully maybe get a, a wipe before the safe room if they can do some real work on the crescendo. Uh, I mean, we still see Team Spectre Soy Sauce sitting with three pills and excess here. So I don't know if the wipe's going to happen, but definitely they got work down that health bonus. Charger going in immediately rolled down by the three Uzis and shotgun of uh, Team Spectre Soy Sauce. Smoking again, the repo on, and Nick in the back there. Things, things can change so quick. Just out, let me give you a for instance. They, they start this event. Uh, they get a three boom or a four boom. Reloading. Somebody gets pulled in the back. They're not necessarily there to clear it. Somebody goes down, and suddenly you got you know those dudes with health bonus standing there taking horde chip trying to get the pickup. It can all change in an instant. It all depends on whether or not this SI team can button down and do some work with their SI now that they've done work with the tank. Indeed, we're seeing another attack coming in here. Charger finding its target onto Rochelle here. Spook goes on top of that. Oh, that could be cap. an in cap. And indeed, we're going to see a, a jockey in the back. Hunter looking to land on Nick. Oh, Not going to find triple. it, though. The Hunter. Evil. Evil's the only one with health bonus left. Yeah, that would have been a huge double cap in the back. That jockey, Hunter, almost landing. The jockey had his target. And Hunter just barely missing out on Nick before uh, Coach got cleared. Nick would have died for sure considering the amount of distance between the two pairs of survivors but yeah. they definitely got rid of they got rid of most of the health bonus if they can get a little bit more of evil's bonus then they're only going to get the distance kind of going in game kind of cheekily deaths out there by evolve i think that was like a 360 melee by evolve and somehow it hit the, the uh, hunter off of him but Smoker is going to go ahead and grab the pull on her shell in the back there. Smoker does get cleared immediately, though, afterwards. When you next. say cheeky, when you say cheeky, every time you say cheeky kiss me, I feel like Battle is using you as a hand I, I, I could inquire more about this, but I know what you would say. So I'm not going to inquire about it. No, I'm just saying that it's so uncharacteristic. It's just not, it's not really an, it's not really a phrase that we constantly say a lot. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not like an idiosyncrasy. It's, it's the only thing I've ever American. learned from Battle. I mean, I, yeah, I, I love Battle, it's, but it's, it's, it's just something that he rubbed. Reloading. I cannot, I'm not saying that. Yeah, <laughs> that he rubbed off on you. <laughs> Shut oh. up. Where did he rub off? I hate you guys so much. On your chin? I hate you guys, everything. Evil's, evil's bonus is done. 
That was a good hit, though, by Serious Business. They definitely focused everything that they had out onto Evolve and, uh, you know, got it down. They got all that excess health bonus off of them, and that's going to hurt their health bonus, obviously. Team, Spe Team Spectacular Story Sauce down to a 64 health bonus for the map, and Serious Business, they can make back, uh, you know, they can make back some points here, but they have to really do work. Yeah, I mean, really, what they need to do is fucking wipe with a tank one of these times, but, I mean, that... If that doesn't happen, then they really, really just need to make it with bonus. It'd be great to see them wipe with a tank, but they 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 need to have a really fantastic tank. And I'm talking land a multi boom during the tank, which they haven't been able to really do. Oh, zombie swap people! I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean the finale. There's definitely room to come back on the finale if they can make back like. I don't, I don't want to jinx it, but they can make back like 600 points or something on this map. Get a really big health bonus when they walk in the safe room. I mean, they can use the finale to make the comeback happen, but they got to make the boat. And they have to wipe with the t for the first tank on their side. But first deck coming in here. Nice double cap landing right off the bat. Charger getting those punches onto Rochelle here. Boomer also landing onto two survivors. And that's going to be a ton of damage going on the survivors. Um, already, Team Spectre has so to overdoing what Serious Business managed to do on their first hit on their other half. And That's yeah. just kicking them while they're down at this point. That was a really like, nice hit, though. It's just we're not seeing we're not seeing team or team serious business work as a unit. They're just they're like I said, it's basically a pug team. This is this is the result of of not having that awareness of where your team is at all times and doing the work necessary to mitigate chip. I hear home. Yeah, I could definitely agree with that. I think Sue's business, if they practice more often, and if Fig didn't lag, obviously, on the first map, um, this could definitely be a totally different game. I and mean, even with one ringer, Sue's business should still be able to hold up some sort of fight against Team Success, so we saw in my opinion. But yeah, due to their lack was, uh, of prep, I just yeah, don't see it. Yeah, it's just a lack of prep. Fig was sacking for skins, is pretty much what happened. Over here. Purple uh, said he would give him Purple said he would give him 24 at, op Asimov if he, if he sacked his tank. Really, so, 24? Yeah, I, might well, I mean, Purple, yeah, Purple's got a lot of op Asimov, so easy skins, easy life. Shout out to the Black Salami. Hey, you know, safe bets, they go far. You just gotta do those safe bets, man, and they pay off in the end. They're just slower than, obviously, the risky ones. Reloading. This game is already going a lot faster than the last one. Yeah, this game is way ahead. Too bad the last game happened first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to see these survivors continue to push their way up towards the tank here. Serious business, if they can literally kill the tank and maintain this exact health bonus, they're in a good position. They have a hundred, or not a hundred, they have a thousand health bonus right now. If they can make the safe with this, they'd be right back in the game. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not going to happen most likely. But attack is coming in as the tank spawns up here. Charger getting the charge. Oh no, he missed the charge actually somehow. Onto the server who was smoked right in front of his ace. Hunter coming back, gets the charge, or the hounds out onto the shelf. Rock getting skeeted. And yeah, Charge is looking to kind of save it. They could ace this tank. If they LOS hard and force a commit and then just make sure that you, you don't get punched. Don't catch those rocks. Don't get punched. Force that commit. They could ace the tank and make it with a nice bonus. But they really, really need to LOS the tank. Like, and not try and go for the stupid cheeky chip from fucking 40 yards away with a shotgun. You know what I mean? Alright, you just got me for saying cheeky. You just said yeah, cheeky. Yeah, exactly. Because apparently we're all Now I rubbed off on you. Yours. Yeah. All over my face. Ah, he's so clever. Anyway. Uh, attack going in there. Not really all that much happening, though. Evol is taking a little bit of chip here from the SMGs of, te or of Team Serious Business. I almost team said Team Spectacular Soy Soft. And then he's going to toss another rock. Team Spectacular Soy Soft. <laughs> They're throwing uh, their rocks at him. Uh, but, uh, he's yeah. already 15% on his first pass, so... They're, I mean, they're doing some work. It hits up now, and so they're trying to get the chip, but they really, really need to LOS him when it counts. Get like, rid of this first pass early. Yeah, so then I know the last two at that side spawns are that smoke and jockey. Jockey works when he gets death after though, they're by the hands of his shell. And now the stars should really go into hard LOS mode. Indeed, they're going to do just that. They're going to make Evolve pass to the second pass. And, uh... They got they got a break line of sight here. All right, there it goes. Finally, second pass happens. He was at like 15% for a while there because they just were staying in front of the window. Charger spawning up in front of the doorway though. No rock going inside the window and hitting anyone. And uh, yeah. they're shutting everything down really good. Yeah, and Evolve's burning right now. He's down to 45% rage and he's maintaining it down to 40. 
he's committing. He's rolling in, and he's not going to have his third spawn up. But he does have a boomerang hunter to work with there. And he's going to roll right in. Actually taking a lot of chip and then backs out, allowing the stars to reload. He's going to get in with 30, 1,500 damage into him. Boomer proxies out of the coach on the upper part of the boardwalk there. And coach is going to go ahead and run out. He runs down towards the tank, though. Tank down to 2,600 HP. Just rock missing on oh, the no. drivers. Evil. Stars are in the water, though, so this is going to cause some slowdown for them. Rock going out, lands onto Nick finally. That is the first rock that's landing. Evolve's going to back out here, trying to save face and go for, I don't I have no idea really. Just going to try and rock tank. Finds the ladder finally, he's but dead, he, he might die. No, damn no. it. No, tank's going to get out with 450 HP left. That was a huge flop by Evil, and that's exactly what the survivors needed. Kite him around, dodge those rocks, make sure that he can't maintain that sight. I don't want to jinx them, but they have an 800, pretty much 900 HP right now. I don't want to jinx them. A little. Tank's going to go for Rock, down to 300 HP. Rock goes in, hits Coach. I mean, if they could just avoid the Rock. Another Rock going in here, almost hitting Coach. Like, that was like face first. Like, that was close. And Tank, yeah, still up in the hands of Evolve here. He's down to 60% rage, down to 100 HP. He's going to die here. He should die here. He, he runs out though. He's gonna go ahead and AI wow. his tank. The guy know that he's low though. Like they should just push. Because I think I feel like that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna and they've been they've been taking the hits really well. And if it wasn't for that that like rock, that last minute, last ditch effort, two hundred HP rock on fucking coach, the tank would already be done. It's little mistakes like that. Indeed. And tank is gonna go AI now. And I mean, serious business, I mean, they're down to 836 health points, but they were at 900 prior to that rock that hit Coach in the face. I mean, they just gotta stop those silly things like that happening. And if they make the safe room with this health bonus, that's huge. Like, that's throwing them way up there in the score, and they'll be within like 700, I think, or yeah, I maybe mean, less it's than that. Close, close enough so it doesn't look like they just got wrecked. I mean, then it really comes down to they have to make the final map and they have to wipe it the first time. If they can make that happen, they'll pretty much win. I mean, the, that's well, kind of right like now, black and about, white, though. It's all about creating opportunities. They need to make the opportunity, seize the opportunity. They created the opportunity by, by not letting that tank get them. Now they need to seize it. If they can make it with the bonus, then there's an op then there's a chance. But eh, they need to shut everything down. They can't get separated. I mean, that's a really good start right there, though. The entire attack completely demolished there. Ellis shutting down the smoke in the back, taking a little spit damage there. But I believe they're still now. Actually, they drop below the 800. They're down to a 772 health bonus. But the attack is completely down. They can push away completely through this event right here and into the wide open area up ahead. And this is looking really good for them. I mean, where, where was this before? Like last map. Well, this this is exactly what happened map one. If you have a really terrible tank, you can you can carry that bonus. Because shutting down SI hits is not that hard. The, the tank is where you're supposed to get the real damage. But if you have a really shitty tank, this is, this is what happened. So they, you know, like Evil Evil dropped the ball. He let his team down. Just saying that right now. Like everybody has a bad game. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, and it, it, and, in retrospect, in retrospect, Fig did the same thing. I mean, it wasn't really all his fault because he had horrible ping. But he definitely put his team in this position, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can, it's, it is what it is. And just yeah. don't catch this jockey, close the door, and there it is, 624. All right, so they're, they're a little over 800 points down. They have to wipe at this first tank and then make the boat. That's a tall order. It's not impossible, but they need like a tri-cap with tank. Or a, or a great, great log. Which is nearly a wonderful impossible. log. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I logs. mean, they've 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 closed the gap. If you had if, like coming out of map one, I wouldn't have guessed that they'd be able to close the gap. The the serious business that we saw in map one and map two is not the serious business that we just saw. But it's all thanks to it's all thanks to the way that they took that tank and the way that that tank's decision making and rocks failed him. I still feel really bad for map one. That was just incredibly unfortunate. I, yeah, I hate well, to I mean, dwell on it, but... Well, I mean, shit like that happens. I mean, this game is... This is this is the game where it's one mistake in a round can totally, like, you know, screw you. 
And so that one tank gave them the opportunity to get a thousand bucks. Because the rest of the survivors were all sitting there like, what? What just happened? Or the rest of the infected were sitting there going, what just happened? That entire rep. Indeed, we're gonna see the first stack coming out in here. Four series spins. Boomer lands out on two survivors in the back. Smokey gets a pull on the coach, gets a double charge. Hunter also lands. That's oh. a beautiful hit coming out from this SI right here to start things off. The two boom stars are not able to clear effectively, and that was a hell of a hit coming out from serious business. That's what we need to see for the rest of this round if they want to make this happen. That was beautiful. Serious business just woke up from a coma. Everybody uh, tell them what year it is. Uh, unfortunately, the tank's going to be a little late here, 84%. That, that was a beautiful hit there. We need to see more of that from them. And then which will be up here. Coach missing the crowd, but gets the redraw or the recrown, I should say. The second shot, the second chance onto the witch. And uh I thought that was gonna be a hit on him, and he still had a lot of health bonus. That would have been huge if he botched that. That would have been like a TSS is falling apart in front of our eyes. Mm-hmm. But they do save face, they keep it alive. And yeah, Hunter pounds around going uh, the opposite side of the house here. And it looks like the SI were looking to go on the roof, but they're going to have to reset. They didn't go, obviously, for some reason. I but... think they were thinking that they might go in the house. Yeah. Uh, the assumption was that they were probably going to go in the house and look, but I think they're probably going to save that for the run back, if anything. I mean, there's usually not much in that house. So, I mean, maybe a melee here and there. But I don't see any melee standing up on their heads like... No, I don't see anything. Tank's Thank up you. in the hands of Dill. This is this is a good tank, and he, unfortunately he's in a really bad spot. They could AI the tank if they run all the way back. This is a really crappy tank. I don't like this. Yeah. Tank. Hey, I heard that uh, tank flow was the most amazing thing ever. Kiss me. Yeah, I mean the the survivors are playing forward though, so Dill will have 100% rage, you know, on top of this mansion. They could have definitely AI if they ran backwards though. That rock was mm -hmm. kind of incredibly close, by the way, on the side. Oh yeah, moon, the moon rock. And you can do. You should. You should be following these rocks. Kiss me. I, Director I of cinematography, me. kiss me. Should be following rocks. I know. We're gonna follow the rocks. Way too far. I don't know what the speed of rocks is. I have to. I have to fine tune this. I don't usually follow the rocks. <laughs> Yeah, Dill's gonna go ahead and rotate a little bit here. He is getting an LOS here very slowly, but surely by the survivors. I doubt that's gonna land very close. To him. And it hit the top of the tractor, I believe. So Dill is gonna play with his rocks here, or his logs, I believe, I should say, instead of rocks. It's obviously not a rock. And yeah, Smoker going for the pull here, trying to set something up for the log, but the tank is way back here. The tank is coming in, Charger Jockey on the right side, not finding anything just yet. Charger barely missing Nick there, and tank is still uh, just kind of sitting back. He's, he's only taking 100 chip. So for, The rock uh, almost hit Nick, but looks like they're going to go back. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try and uh, play safer. Nick's still in front of the tractor, though, so I think they're just baiting this, trying to make him push forward. And yeah, he's well, going to be just that. Uh, he's got the log, but he's also got a hit. He's getting pushed here by survivors pretty heavily. And I don't think there's a ladder over here. Indeed, there's not. Yeah, he's there kind of stuck in the corner. There might be a mistake, though. Might be a mistake by the survivors if the uh, SI can do something. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the SI already dead here. The boomer being popped there by relapse. And Tank getting pushed here. Down 2300 HP already. The rock missing. He's got to back out. And he's actually going to play forward. Gets, jumps on top of the dumpster. Looks for rock out on a nick. Not going to find it. And I don't know why. I don't agree with that. And he falls off the ladder, actually. This tank taking a major chip here, down 800 HP, down 500, and this tank is pretty much dead, unfortunately. He I pushed don't... his log up. He pushed his log up too far. Wasn't there to capitalize when they pushed up on him. He, he I, I don't know why he didn't recognize that Nick was standing right by the tractor. Like it was obvious that they were just waiting for him to push. Like three backed up, let him see that they were backing up, and he saw Nick even go back into ghost mode. So he knew that Nick was sitting right by the tractor. I'm surprised that he. I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised Double boom he did in the that. front. This could be big. Possibly Charger gets punched. On the log. Tank throwing a rock in, looking for a Hail Mary rock. Not going to find it. He should just go for the log. He's got a Hail Mary. He's not going to be able to deal and do anything with this tank. Like, the rock is no, his only... Like, the log is his only saving grace. He could have maybe gotten a log. No guarantee, but it looks like they're just... They know that this tank is low. They just want ammo at this point. Rock getting skied out of the air there by 
the hands of Team Specular Soy Sauce. Build up, still throwing rocks in here. I mean, TSS has to know that he's low on HP. They gotta know that this tank is like, you know, out of it. Man, he fucked that up. Like, yeah, I, Dildo, I, he fucked it up. Like, hard. I, I felt like he should have been able to read what the survivors are doing. Tank is gonna rotate here, though. If the survivors were all peak up, they he got at the same time, they could kill him quite easily. He is on second pass, down to 300 HP, just getting chipped down slowly, but surely by the shotgun shells of the survivors. Rocking Ski, they're down to 230. Jockey lands. Charger also going in out of the coach here. Not gonna find anything just yet, though. Charger getting killed off. And they might just push this tank down now. He's down to 200 HP, climbing on top of the roof. And they are pushing into him. They're going to surround him and just kill him off. There's not really much else that the tank can do here. Drops on, gets a punch on the Nick. Uh, that came out of nowhere, but Nick retaliates by killing off the tank himself. And yeah, that, that I mean, all the kills are gone, but... He did not see the opportunities there and did not use the opportunities there. Yeah. When they, had, when they got the double boom in the front, and uh, he had 300 and some, some odd HP. He, they got the double boom in the front, and then Coach got jockeyed, and there was a charge there punching it. That would have been the opportunity. Just go for the Hail Mary log. Either it lands and you get an in cap, or it doesn't land. But you didn't. he didn't really do anything except for that one punch from the entire time that he was up with the 300 health. Yeah, I, I would have gone for the Hail Mary log. Like, they won't kill you from that far away, obviously, because most of them were running shotguns anyway. But I just don't know. But we do have a charge going out in the front here. Spit goes down. Actually, Spit misses. Spit went inside the room for some reason. Evolve's going to walk away with basically just a slap on the wrist. I don't know why the Spit went in the room. Bonus. It's not health bonus anyway. I mean, they have to be able... It's like you were saying. They have to be able to recognize what's going on. And Evil running around by himself... I mean, he's not health bonus. Of course he's not going to be that concerned. Reload. He knows they have the four sets of pills on the table. He knows he's not health bonus. He knows that his his ability to not take hits is not critical. He's basically trying to sponge at this point. Definitely. And we're going to see the survivors moving up towards the crescendo here. Triggering it, finally. And we see a Hunter Jockey Charger working the way in here. Hunter and Jockey both getting skied, and Charger just getting absolutely shut down upon showing himself behind that tree. And the shotguns of Team Secretary of Sauce are definitely on tonight. They are absolutely just shredding through the SI of Serious Business. And I, I think the door is shut on Serious Business. With the event started, I I don't see daylight for them. Yeah, it's all map one. This this would be a much closer game right now. It would be very exciting if it wasn't for map one. I mean, what were they? They were like 1,300 down after map one? Yeah. I mean, you I mean, subtract 1,300, they're down to, what, 2,300? Serious Business would even be in the lead at this point. But well, I mean, even if they had gotten like a 400, a 400 or 300 bonus on map one, I mean, they would they would have only been down by maybe 500 points coming out of map one, and they could have made that up. They would have already made that up, and it would have been a more even game at this point. But now we're literally just watching the rest of this game, knowing what the outcome is going to be. Very exciting. Like I said, I think you agree with me. I I, I really wish that. You know, they would have asked for the restart. Even if it wasn't given, which I'm sure TSS would have given it to them. But with that being said, there's actually a really nice hit going in. Charger taking Rochelle off the banister up top and down into the spit on the staircase. Wiping out KB's health bonus along with PF, a.k.a. Uh, Azula. Azula. I knew, I knew there was a Z in there. I'm like, I don't remember the name, though. <laughs> but yeah, Azula's HP, a.k.a. PF, going down. And, uh, or HP going down, I should say. But yeah, I, I really wish they asked for the restart. I bet you TSS would have given it to him. Yeah, it was so early in the game, and you, it was obvious that it was like not 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 something that serious business could have helped with, with the lag. So it should have been, but unfortunately it wasn't, and this is what we get. But it looks like serious business, even though they know the door is shut, they've decided that they're going to go out swinging. Well, oh, certainly a really nice double charge going out there on the survivors. Wiping out pretty much all their pills. They have no pills left on the table. The only one remaining is on Azula. And uh, I wonder where they're going to set or who they're going to decide to actually give it to. Vol has plenty of HP. It's going to be between the, either Azula takes it or Relapse takes it. But Boomer spawning up gets the double boom out of the two survivors. Hunter going in with the spitter as well. If the Hunter can land the spit, can actually uh, capitalize on top of that. The tank will be up in the hands of Express here for the final tank for serious business. And let's see I what smell a wipe. Do you? Do you smell it? 
Yep. A couple of the survivors are within one punch. Like, or one or two punches. Killer Beast is within two punches. Yeah, this goes certainly be a wipe. I mean, he's taking a lot. He's already down to 2,800 HP here. He's just playing too aggressive, and the horde is nowhere to be found right now. The stars are really keeping it at bay. And the SI are still up there, just not helping out right now. Tank goes in, throws a rock. Smoker lands a pull on a Nick, separating him from the rest of the survivors. Hunter Charger looking to capitalize on the other two survivors that are in the opposite corner of the field right now. And yeah, there's gonna be two incaps going on survivors. This tank should really just back out though, unless they're going for the kill, which I think they are. Rock lands on Rochelle. I think the tank's telling the hunter to go after Coach, and he's gonna try and take care of Rochelle. Rock lands on Rochelle. Last survivor up is Coach, aka Evol. Four teams pick up the soy sauce. And I don't it's the white, think he's for sure. It's it's the white. Ooh, nice rock. I do approve. Jackie yeah, going in. Evil, lands Evil just freaked out and mumble. You know he did. He was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> what is this, Jack? So yeah, so we're gonna see Team Spectre Suicide making it the distance of 352 points for the map. Bringing them to a grand total of 3,820. I should also mention the 20 points from the Witch Crown did come into effect there. And yeah, anybody we're... from anybody from Spectacular Soy Sauce who watches this cast afterwards, let me know if Evil screamed and mumble about how bullshit that Silent Jockey was. Because I'm, I'm guessing that's what he said. He's a like, fucking Silent Jockeys. Does he get those? Does he get those a lot? No, man, I just, Evil's, Evil's the kind of guy where anytime something bad happens to him, it's always, like, whatever's fault, so it's like, it was the jockey's fault, or the tank's fault, or whatever, so, it's just my guess. Nah, fuck that, it's hit ridge. Oh, hit ridge, or lag. It's everything above the server. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? So, that's why I was, that's why I'm speculating. Anybody who knows Evil knows what I'm talking about. He probably just blamed his dead teammates for that jockey. Alright, so what are the bets we have going here? Who thinks Serious Business is actually going to be able to pull this back? I mean, they're 1,200 down, so that's Boat plus 400 HP. I feel like a lot of the time, that these clutch victories, they come when you can actually get a clutch victory. So I don't think that they're going to be particularly motivated by that victory. Like, I'm not sure. I thought, you know what I mean by that? Like, when you have the opportunity to win, I feel like you play like, you're, like you really want the win, whereas they know they can't win right now. What so do you mean is that they know? I mean, they only need a 400 health bonus Reloading. in retrospect. And this isn't really all that hard of a tank slash, you know. I mean, they can AI this first tank completely. I know, but they've just been making such poor decisions. Watch out. Oh. Like, my, they, they had that one decent survivor round. So 25% success rate, or 33% success rate if we're, not, if we're only counting the first three maps. Oh, that witch. The witch, they can finally do kill the witch. Oh, Charger missing a charge completely instantly running around though. Gets a couple punches onto her shell here. Three punches, in fact, go out there onto her shell. A lot of damage drops on the tool there. That was See a what I'm saying? This it's a lot of they're taking a lot of chip right out the gate. And it's it's not they need to have a near perfect survivor round here. This has gotta be like textbook, I watch yeah, NV and kill a toy videos nonstop. And I play hard thirty two. Because yeah, sixteen was too easy. Exactly. Nope. I play hard 32 with a single pistol. <laughs> this is this is the kind of perfect survivor round they gotta have. Okay. And yeah, Sarev's just gonna hold out this boom here in top of the uh, house here. Nice double cap laying out to them up top though. Smoker Hunter doing some work. And Smoker's gonna get a frying pan to the face there, courtesy of Ellis. And yeah, we're gonna see them go ahead and push up here. Probably trigger the tank. They can AI this if they so choose to, but then they're gonna have to face four SI that come in with the tank. So it's kind of a, you know, weigh your positives and negatives and see what you want to do here. Is, uh, is Bravo still fighting with the, uh, the chat or did he give up? I don't know if he left or what, but I haven't seen him chat in a while. Once he hears this, he might respond. We'll see. Charger goes in and gets meleeed. Oh, uh, John wanted me to say that uh, this cast is brought to you by the Dumb Bitch Society. And uh, John is the founder and CEO. Is this John J O N? Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Just making sure. But yeah, so I was are actually gonna run this tank entirely back. I don't actually know they stay by the tractor. Why are they doing this? I I feel like they had a really good opportunity. Uh, I mean, nobody's I bleeding. 
they're not. See, this thing is, is that they're not. These aren't the kind of like tryhard players that would actually run the tank AI just to be fucking scumbags. They they have honor, you know. I mean, I mean, in retrospect, they can AI here pretty easily, and if this tank dr does drop, they can still push into it and get some really good damage. So I guess this is as well as a good spot, or this is also a good spot. Should say. Because there's not many SI spawns. Basically, you have the trees to work with for beyond your SI spawn. I feel like this tank fight's very fluid, where it usually starts off here. You're basically trying to avoid rocks and, and just see if uh, see if you can just take these hits really well. There's not a lot of spawns, like you said. Uh, Zulu's and doing then, a really good job of finding a skybox with the rocks, by the way. He, he, he's got that skybox rock shit down, man. I mean, he's he's hit the skybox like 20 times. But yeah, so Raj will finally actually push back here. So now they now are gonna go back. This is the opportunity. If they if they LOS the tank, this could this could it could be an AI. If they get all the way back without giving him any sight at all. I believe it's gonna be AI. I don't think the tank can actually get up onto the house in time. I mean, 40%, 35. I have a midget tank. Miracle by the way. Rock, miracle log. The, the miracleist of miracles. Yeah, it's gonna wow, be a tank. Wow, he, he he probably could have made it if he didn't try for the log. Uh, it would have been close. It would have been close. It would have been like five percent. The tank is gonna commit there. Now there are three SI up two actually spawn. It's gonna be a smoker, boomer, charger, and a jockey. Very deadly combo here, and they have to shut down these SI the moment they come in. And whoever that boom lands on is gonna be the target of the tank. Boomer gets popped though. So that's really good for the uh, uh, survivors right now. Jockey getting skeeted down by the survivors little by little. Tank's taking a lot of damage. And Tank's actually going to go ahead and hit the charger, which makes for an easy clear for the survivors. Tank's down now to three. Now sacking for skins. Yeah, now it, it's it's turn. Now he's got the one that needs 24 off skins. Or ass off skins, I should say. And yeah, that's Tank dead. I mean, serious business still out of 1,200 health bonus. Reloading. If they can yeah. make it to the crescendo, get inside the house and play it out, and then take this next tank easy. Biggest upset win in this fucking history. This could be a huge upset. I mean, I mean, they basically like, threw first round. Like, they didn't just throw it. They like opened the window and all threw their PCs out the window. They were completely. They were completely absent for round one. They were all just AFK. Two people that had might like been, zero points at the, when they got to the safe room. That might as well have been, been the factor because literally nothing happened first round for them. And then they got really raffle stopped. Yeah, they just, the first round was just not good for them. But this would be, if they, I mean, they could, if they, they really, this is a really hard finale. So they really need to have a, an amazing survival. They need to have some great clear, some seriously high level shit going on. And they just demolish that attack. Hunter got skied upon entering the doorway. Jockey as well just getting obliterated and Spit having no luck, obviously, with nothing landing. And this is big because they also have two damage sponges they can use. They can use two on Express. And as long as I think they need like something like 40, 40 HP and well, 40 permanent HP and on whoever. I think it can even be spread. And I think they'll make it. So that's not all that much HP that they need left. This should be interesting. I, I, yeah. I'm, I, 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 I want to see, this I wanna see where they're gonna take it. I want to see where they're gonna take it because that's gonna that's gonna be the defining key here. Is if they they might four corner on the bushes, and that I mean if they shut this shit down before it can land, they might be able to eat this out. Indeed, so I was just kind of baiting out the SI right now. They're trying to uh, make them throw the hit here before they actually trigger it. They hit the button once. And now we wait. Survivors look like they actually might want to stay outside. They're kind of favoring over to the other side. And actually, they hit the button twice. Ner or uh, Virgil is on his way here. And they're going to play it up against the fence, actually. They're going to stay outside, at least for the first hit here. Smoker Jockey coming from behind. Charger from the front. Smoker getting shot down. Melee Charger completely whiffing. And Jockey getting melee down. That is the attack up and down for serious business. And they're looking for it. I can, you can feel the spark. Is this the same team? Because I feel like they just... You can feel the spark. They all just like woke up, serious turned on their business. mad packs, and now it's time to play. It is literally serious business. They're all running four shotguns, and they are looking for this W. They are looking to make the comeback happen, and I don't know they when the last finally, time I saw Express play. They are finally adhering to their namesake, you could say. Because it's all serious business from here on out. 
Indeed, another attack comes in here. Spitter actually completely missing a spit. He should spit downstairs, but instead that go decided to go upstairs. Charger gets one punch out of the Express, I believe. Tool also goes into the yellow zone now. So he's going to have to pop a set of pills here sooner or later to keep up with his teammates, which he might not do just yet. Because he's not really in a position where he has to move around all that much. And they're in, they're doing the right thing. They're keeping their survivors in positions where their damage sponges are in the front lines. Rochelle's up top, and she's in front of the doorway, so she'll take the hit there. Coach is on the stairwell, so any charger that comes up is going to encounter him first. And they're playing the smart. They're doing the right stuff. It's just a matter of, is it going to be enough? Oh, Hunter gets shot down. Spit goes down on top of the smoke target. And Coach also gets stumbled uh, there by the bone. He might take an cap. No, he actually expressed his up. But they have he, plenty they of pills. Want, they're going to want to in-cap him. Really? You think so? I would. While the hit was down, rather than having him... I mean, basically, he just took those pills. He would have had an extra 30 health if he had taken the first in-cap. Yeah, true. I wouldn't want to risk him going black and white, though, because I think if they, one of them dies, it's going to really hinder a good chance. But literally, all they need is a 400 like on the dot. They need like a 403 or 4 health bonus. But then you also have to add the distance that they didn't get on the other half. But attack coming Their in right now. Their bonus is 1,000 reloads. Very nice. Attack oh. does manage to land down. Nice double cap landing. Hunter and Charger. Charger getting a recharge with Tool clearing it. But Coach does take an in cap. That was the in cap that he, they were trying to uh, keep away from. Tank going in. Throwing Rock hits the tree though. And with these boom survivors, they really have to pick up the Coach very fast here. And that's what they exactly we're going to do. Coach actually tank pushing right in onto Nick here. Gets one punch on enough. He does have a set of pills to pop here. And they're going to pop it. Boomer bottling the tank actually. He's going to draw more horde in. Tank ring around the, the tank around the tree. And Tank is actually going to lot chip down 3400 HP. And the thing is, that Coach is still down. And the Boomer Bile is worn off, and now they have to deal with the Horde when the Boomer Bile wears off. This is interesting. Charger does get shut down instantaneously, though, upon entering. T rock goes in. That wasn't damage. That was, a, that was a Rage Rock, though. This is really crucial. I mean, they are getting coach up, though, and this is pivotal. They needed to get coach up. If he died, it was pretty much game over. I mean, they're at a 700 health bonus upon pickup. I mean, still 700. I checked pretty much at the same yeah, time they picked him up. It's 700. So, Killer Beast down to 3,500 HP. They need to get aggressive, I think. They should not be playing Bleed. I think they only have those two pills left. Yeah, no pills left on the table. So, they have these two pills to work with and all the health that they have left. And Dildo cannot get capped. Dildo cannot risk it. So Rochelle eating a pounce though. Rock barely missing out on Nick. And they gotta get aggressive. They have to make him pass off. There we go. He does drop off on the other side of the fence here. And he's down 35% rage. Still first pass though. So they're they making him pay for it. Every yeah. time he peeks, they're making him pay for it with a little bit of chip. It's just the four shotguns thing. The damage drop off is is just they're so far away, they're not getting the chip that they need to get. They need to kill him. Serious business need to shut down this boomer. If this boomer lands and the horde comes in, it could be the end for them. And they have that jockey charger as well for SI Sport on Team Spectacular Soy Sauce. This is pretty freaking close. Charger coming oh. in, boomer getting shot down, jockey getting shot down as well. Rock, Rock misses. misses. They need as they he's need to pass assist. the second pass before he gets more. Yep, he's passed the second pass. Down to a 600 HP. They need to keep Dildo away from the damage. I don't know. I mean, they have the health bonus. They're at 600. They only need like a 400 on the dot, pretty much. Because you have to add in the distance, which you'll get. Which is still actually a lot. Rock hits Coach, though. That knocks him down to a 560 health bonus. Hunter pouncing around, looking to just distract the survivors. I don't think he has any real need to actually land. Smoking shut down as well. All the hits are down. And Tank is getting LOS to shit right now. Down to 40% yeah, range. He has to commit. Yeah, that's it. It's he's gonna he's he's gonna lose it. He drops down in front. They know that he's low. They're gonna push him down to 1300 HP, 1100 HP. He's still pushing him down to a thousand. Anybody else's butthole puckered right now? You know it. He's not a five percent rage right now. A thousand HP. This tank is pretty much dead. The SI tank Shut is up down. though. Tank is dead. Shut this is this down. gonna be an upset? No. Boomer lands onto Coach, but the horde was coming in anyway. Hunter getting skinned. Jackie lands. Oh, Charger also lands. Everything is cleared immediately, though. Yes. No way. They're at a 476 health bonus plus a distance. Will How long until that door opens? Uh, it's gonna be maybe 15 seconds. It's like one more wave of horde. They're moving towards it. They're moving towards the door. This door needs to open, and they're pretty much on the home stretch. This is gonna be freaking close. No way. 
They were 1,500 down after map one. No. Big wow. We, we, no, don't get too ahead of Tech coming in here. Smoker like lands out onto Ellis there. They're trying to hit the help bonus. They hit the help bonus. That's on Ellis. He is the help bonus. He's got to get out of the spit. He gets out. Rochelle is brought into it, though. The jockey bringing her through the spit. Express also taking in cap there. That's bad. There are two downs to Island Stars right now. They need to pick up, and they need to get back to the boat. They need the distance. These pickups will skyrocket the help bonus, though. Up to 192, and they, they, need, they need to save Express. All the horde is on him. Or at least some of it. Express is still coming. Like the, the door is going to explode. And hopefully it doesn't kill them. Because I've seen the door no, do damage it doesn't, before. It doesn't, it doesn't usually do damage in this in, in Promod. Okay, hopefully not. Charger does actually go in. It actually gets oh, the leveled there is. by Dildo. <laughs> All right. The health bonus is 252. 252. I, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's 150 points of distance. I, I think it is. Spit goes out by the door trying to get an in cap, maybe a kill. They can kill off Express. He's down, he's on second in cap, and he's low on HP. 10 HP on Express. They need to protect him. He Is needs to make the vote. I don't know. This door is literally not opening. It's you, is this for real? I mean, the, the, the distance is still ticking. I feel like it should open by now, though. There I feel we like go. if it had opened by now, it would have been done. Yeah, if the door had opened by now, I thought it was much sooner open. But the door does open, Coach dies off, NF gets game capped, and the pole goes out of the dildo. I think it's over. I don't think there's any way they can yeah. actually make a comeback now. That is incredibly unfortunate. Jockey going in, getting shut down by Ellis. He says, you know what, I'm still going to make this boat. I'm still going to throw it out there that we were here, and we almost made that happen. I, I feel like that door really was delayed. Uh, shout out to Bravo. Nobody plays Swamp Fever outside of tournaments, so I don't know why you would expect us to know that. Fig will become the tank. That was close. Yep. That was incredibly close. And if they all made that, that would have been another 90, 80. Uh, yeah, they would have needed like a 400 health bonus. And they had it up till the end. Epic, that's bit. epic comeback, nonetheless. That was a hell of a game. They made it into something. Wow. Because right there, right there at the end, when we were all waiting for the door to close, I feel like we all held our breath. Everybody else, anybody else palpitating right now? I I was, I'm out of breath. My voice hurts. Like, I was literally paying attention to everything. Like, I was, like, starry-eyed on every single statistic on the freaking screen. Like, I was like, they can actually do this if they play us right. Unfortunately, I mean, once again, 